Hi, this is Amal from SSL Trust. In this video, I will be showing you how to successfully install an SSL certificate on your website in AA panel. So let's get started. So this is our domain name that we are hosting on AA panel. As you can see, it is not yet secure and we are going to make sure it is. The site is not showing any content yet. So the first step in this process is to generate a private key and a certificate signing request or CSR. For that, we are going to scroll to the bottom of the SSL Trust homepage. And then click on CSR and key generator under tools and services. So basically, a CSR or a certificate signing request is nothing but a request initiated by you, the client, to the certificate authority, which contains all the necessary information, such as the domain name and any business details, which are stored in a hashed form. On the technical side, it also contains the public key, which will be signed by the certificate authority and returned to you in the issued certificate. So just fill in these details real quick. Type in your domain name without the www, the name of your organization, the organization unit, such as IT, your city or town, your state or province, choose your country, type in your email address, root length, we're going to go with 2048 bit, which is the industry standard, and then click on generate CSR. So you should be able to see your private key and your CSR right here. It is recommended that you save this in a safe location on your computer. So as to be able to reconfigure the certificate in case there is an error in the process. Since this is a demo video, I am not going to save this and keep this window open. So the next step this process is to purchase and configure our SSL certificate and for that we're going to head over to SSL Trust. Okay so I'm here on the SSL Trust homepage and if you scroll down you'll see that SSL Trust has established meaningful partnerships with all the leading SSL certificate authorities and we have SSL certificates for just about all your SSL needs whether you wanting to secure a single website with a single domain name, you have the standard SSL for you, the business SSL for organizations who want to show higher security and authenticity, and the premium extended validation EVSSL, which shows the green address bar in supported browsers and recommended for enterprises. Wildcard SSL certificates to secure unlimited subdomains, and multi-domain SSL certificates to secure up to 500 domains with a single SSL certificate. Now, if you're not sure which SSL certificate is the best for you and your business, you can always contact our sales team at SSL Trust and we'll be happy to help you out. Now, since this is a demo video, I'm gonna go with the standard SSL certificate. Let's go with the Commodore Positive SSL. Choose your duration. Click on check out, fill in your details, choose your preferred method of payment, and then click on complete order. Once you've done that, you can head back to the SSL Trust dashboard. Let me log in real quick. And You'll be able to see your purchased SSL certificate right here. So just click on that. And then click on start certificate configuration. Or alternatively, you can provide the following URL to the appropriate person to do the configuration for you. Now head back to the CSR window or your text file and copy your CSR from the very start to the very end including all the dashes and paste it right here 
click on verify CSR. And if these details look good, just as you inputted them, we're good to go. Server type, I'm going to go with Nginx or Apache since AA panel has provisions for both. Click on next step. Filling in these details real quick. Type in your email address. And then if you have a technical individual doing this for you, please enter their details here. Otherwise, use admin contact and then click on next step. Okay, so now comes an important part of the process, which is domain control validation. So basically, in domain control validation, we have to prove to the certificate authority, which in this case is Sectigo, that you own your domain name and have complete access to it. Now we can do this in one of three methods, namely the email method. Now we should have one of these five email addresses on which you will be sent an email, which when you open should contain a link. When you click on that link, that should validate the ownership of your domain and you'll be issued with your SSL certificate. Second method is the HTTP file method. Now, in this method, you're gonna need to create a text file with this exact name. Uh, under these directories, if they're not already there, you'll have to create them, and then create a text file with that name. And in that text file, you're gonna need to paste in these contents, and then click on check file, to make sure that Sectigo is able to see this information on your server. And then your domain should be validated and it should be with your certificate. The third or the method that we're gonna use is the CNAME record validation method. Now in this method, you're gonna need to have access to your DNS settings with either your domain name provider or your hosting provider, depending on where you've pointed your name service to. So let me log into my DNS settings real quick. Okay, so I'm here at my DNS settings. We're gonna click on add new record. Type is gonna be CNAME. Head back to the certificate window. Copy the CNAME record value. Paste it in the host box. Do the same for the CNAME value. Copy and paste it right here. Then click on save. Once you do that, you can check the DNS records propagation. Click on search. And this process should take some time from a minute up to an hour, depending on your DNS service propagation speed. So just keep coming back here and click on search to check if your DNS has been resolved. In the meanwhile, we can head back and submit our configuration for now. And our configuration was a success. This is our order number and our status is that we are awaiting validation. Click here to access the validation manager. And our domain control validation was complete. And it didn't take much time at all. Now, if you're doing this for the very first time, this might take a while and you can come back here, click on this drop down menu, select your method of validation and click on the submit or recheck button to refresh things on Sectigo's end. And if you're not able to access the validation manager, you can head back to the SSL Trust dashboard, select your SSL certificate and then there'll be a button here called access validation manager which you can use to access the validation manager. Now that we have been issued with our SSL certificate, you can click on the collect or download certificate button to view our SSL certificate. So here goes the main SSL certificate, the intermediate certificate and the root certificate. Now you can proceed to install these SSL certificates to our server via AA panel. So let's do just that. Head over to AA panel. This is the dashboard. 
go to your website and then click on your website go to SSL and click on current or other certs so now what we can do is head over to the CSR generation window or your text file on your computer and copy your private key from the very start to the very end including all the dashes and paste it right here now you can do the same for the SSL certificate copy paste it right here and then press enter so the cursor just moves here just after the first certificate we are going to copy the intermediate certificate now and then paste it right here just after the main certificate to form a total of three SSL certificates which complete the R chain so one two and three then we can click on save and enable SSL now on our certificate has been saved let's force HTTPS so now that our certificate has been installed let's check the installation type in https colon double slash your domain name dot com and as you can see the index.html the default file is visible and our connection to the site is now secure we have successfully installed an ssl certificate i hope you were able to install your ssl certificate with ease if not, there is a written guide in the very description of this video that you can refer to for more clarity. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. And if you're interested in all things SSL, consider subscribing to our channel. And as always, thanks for watching.